Hi, my name is Kate. Thank you for your interest, and I wish you good vision. For this tutorial, we will use a Modbus TCP Slave Simulator as ModRSim2, to simulate a field device. In the previous tutorial, we defined the communication channels, and the list of field devices. To complete the communication structure, we just have to define the gates, or tags, related to our devices. Gate Builder is the tool, that allows you to configure the variables, called gates, or tags, that come into play in the supervision of a process. The configuration is based on the type of gate considered, according to five categories. Numeric All gates that can assume signed integer, or floating point values. Digital The gates that can only take binary values 0, and 1. Compound. They are gates, whose value is not sampled, but is the result of mathematical operations, between two different gates. String. Gates relating to variables which are sequences of characters. Event and alarm. Are gates used to define alarms and events, based on conditions on other gates. We will talk about it in detail, in a dedicated tutorial. Let's now define the numeric gates. In this tab, gate ID and NID, identify the door within the project, and must therefore be unique. It is possible to record the variable on a historical file, and allow it, to be written to the device. Let's choose the channel and device to which the variable belongs. The system will notify us, of the defined protocol. By clicking on the help, we will be shown the syntax relating to the defined protocol, and the gate type. In this example, we will read a signed word a 16-bit holding register, using function 3 of the Modbus protocol. And we will choose to always read it with a sampling rate of 1 second. In this tab it is possible to define the minimum, maximum and initial value of the variable. It is possible to define the unit of measure, and the type of the variable, byte, word, int32, float, double and specify the number of decimal digits. These parameters are not mandatory, we can leave them unchanged. The conversion factor defines the conversion, to be applied to the value, read by the device. The conversion is calculated as the interpolation of two pairs of values. The variables in WinLogEvo are recorded on changes, in the internal historical database. To optimize the size of the internal historical databases, it is possible to define a tolerance on the variation of the variable. After creating the temperature 1 variable or gate, we create the setpoint 1, and power 1 variables in the same way. In this case, since the setpoint is a configuration variable, we will allow it to be written to the device.
The gate sampling optimization function can be used to speed up communication between the software and external devices. In the window below, for each communication channel, the number of requests for block ports and single ports is displayed. In order to increase efficiency, it is recommended to reduce the number of requests by grouping the ports as much as possible. For this purpose, it is necessary to define the maximum number of gates that can be grouped in a block, which may depend on the connected devices, and press the Optimize button to start an automatic grouping procedure. Let's now define digital gates. A digital gate is a variable that can hold numeric values 0 and 1. Let's define the digital variables, alarm 1, alarm 2, and automatic, for setting the automatic or manual operation, of the device. Let's choose the channel, and the device to which the variable belongs. The system will notify us of the defined protocol. By clicking on the help, we will be shown the syntax relating to the defined protocol, and the type of gate. In this example, we will read a bit, as coil output, using function 1 of the Modbus protocol. And we will choose to always read it, with a sampling rate of 1 second. In this case, since the setpoint is a configuration variable, we will allow it to be written to the device. We will also perform the optimization for the digital variables. Let's now take a look at the string gates. A string gate is a variable that can hold a sequence of characters, maximum 80. Let's talk now about compound gates. A compound gate is a variable that can hold double precision floating point, numeric values or double. Its value is not sampled by a device or set directly by the operator, but is the result of a mathematical operation on the value of other gates as numeric, digital or compound. For each compound gate, it is also possible to specify the register of a device, on which the value is automatically written, every time it changes. Let's define the delta 1 gate, given by the difference between the setpoint 1 gate, and the temperature 1 gate.
Let's choose our gates. Let's choose the mathematical operator. Let's now run our project. From the status menu, let's display the system status. In this tab, we find information about our system. The number of internal and sampled project variables, the type of license, the status of channels and gates. From the status menu, let's display the status of the gates. Let's choose the type of gate. In this window, we can check the value of our numerical variables connected to the Modbus slave simulator. In this window, we can check the value of our digital variables connected to the Modbus slave simulator. In this window, we can check the value of our compound gate. Thanks for your attention. For more information, I invite you to browse our site or send us an email. See you at the next tutorial, have a nice day.